Hello, happy Wednesday. I am on track this week with getting stuff done. So I just sat down and planned out my meals for next week and I wanted to show you um, how I went about doing that. So let me go ahead and share my screen with you. And you can see I've got my meal plan template pulled up here. So I like to start with the template. <clears throat> so um, I'm currently kind of loosely following four week gut protocol. And um, with that one, you don't have to have any certain container combinations or containers at certain times. But I do like having um, just kind of a plan to start with. And then from there, you can move around the container. So I like to start with my template. Um, the templates you can find on the What's Working Here website inside the resource library. I've got templates for all the meal plans, A through, I think E, it goes through for four week get protocol. And then I've also got portion fixed meal plans. And if you're gonna try time nutrition, I've got meal plans for that too. So I've got the templates in there. So it gives you a starting point and then you can move things around. So what I actually did is I went to um, last week's meal plan and I downloaded it from my website. And then um, I went in and I start by filling in the days of the week and the things that we have going on. So um, I've got soccer practice going on. Last weekend we had a tournament. Um, so um, the next coming week, I don't think that we have any soccer. I don't, I don't have a soccer schedule yet, but um, <laughs> hopefully to have it soon. And um, so we'll be able to know, but just being able to fill in and know, um, like I actually just finished our dinner for tonight. My husband's like, why, why did you make dinner so early? I'm like, cause I'm driving soccer carpool tonight. And last time when I did it, I underestimated the time I needed to prepare dinner. So today I was like, okay, I'm gonna start it early. I did a simple um, sheet pan meal with a barbecue chicken breast and some potatoes. And I just heated up some green beans to go with it. So it just kind of cooked in the oven while I was able to come in here and, and plan my meal. So um, just kind of knowing and writing down so that you know what's going on is very helpful. So have that lined out. Then I go through my meals. Meal one is always my shake. And to be honest, I usually drink my shake while I'm getting ready. So <laughs> my, I do my morning routine. I get my exercise in. And then I usually walk my dog. And uh, before I walk my dog, so especially right now, because it's so it's cold outside. So I get, uh, you can see if you watch my workout videos, I start in my full sweats and then pieces of clothing come off as I exercise and get hot. And by the end of my workout, I'm usually hot and sweaty. And so before I bundle back up to go take my dog for a walk, that's when I actually make my shakes. So then I can kind of, um, I guess, cool off some so that I can put the layers back on to go outside, walk my dog, take my son to school. And then usually while I'm getting ready is when I'm actually drinking my shake. So, and then after that, I usually have my breakfast. So um, I pick two uh, breakfasts for the week and then I alternate them. So in last week I had this breakfast sausage, asparagus and oatmeal on the plan. And so I'm gonna keep it on there this week because I'm enjoying that. And so I just swapped out one of them. So. What's nice about once you kind of get a meal um, meal planning kind of system going, it makes it easier because you can kind of stick with some things and then swap some things out as you go. So I swapped it out with the um, asparagus and um, bacon, egg, and hash browns. And what I did is I pulled from my, um, I, was, I was feeling really uninspired and lazy this, this afternoon when I was doing my meal planning. So I did my four week gut protocol meal plan card. So if you go to the What's Working Here website, if you scroll down on the side, you will find um, I have them for both four week gut protocol, the meal plan cards, and that's what I use today to plan my meals. And I also have them just for regular portion fix. I actually created them when I was doing time nutrition because you had the, the blocks of, uh, of different containers together. So. You can use the color combo meal cards for just regular portion fix, time nutrition, and then the four week gut protocol meal plan cards also have like the A's and the B's and all that broken down. So you can find that on the What's Working Here website over on the sidebar as well. So um, I actually went in and I just was like, okay, whatever's on top, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do that. So I did the breakfast sausage, asparagus and oatmeal, and then the asparagus, bacon, egg, and hash browns. And what's nice about the meal plan cards is on the back, so on Wednesdays I usually plan the meals, on Thursday I write the grocery list, and then on Friday I go to the grocery store. So I like to break it up because 
If you try to do everything at once, it's overwhelming. But if you break it up into little steps, it's not so overwhelming. So on the back of the cards is actually what you need to make the meal. So you can make your grocery list, pull your cards, and then make your grocery list. So I kind of um, segregated my cards into, um, or separated my cards into breakfast. And then I also did a little a lunch one because um, while I was doing four week gut protocol, I came up with these vegan lunch meals. And so I kind of wanted to keep those together. And so same thing with that. I picked two for the week. Um, I had the chickpea salad bowl on the meal plan for this week, but I haven't made it yet. So it's gonna rotate to next week. And then I selected the veggie lo mein and um, I wanted to make sure with the A's and B's, um, kind of keeping those intact. So I have my little pack of uh, lunches here separated out. And then afternoon snacks, I also picked two of those for the week and I have those separated out as well, all the snacks. So um, last week I had the pickle, okra, cashews, and apple on there. I've been slicing up my apple and putting like some cinnamon and a little honey on it and putting it in the microwave for like 30 seconds and it's delicious on these cold days. And then I added this week a spinach, pear, and walnut salad. So spinach, put a pear on top, some walnuts. You can sprinkle it with some um, balsamic if you want to. So those are my two snacks. And then from there, you just have to do dinners. And there's a whole stack of dinners. And so I did the same thing. I was like, oh, I'm just going to go through. I did remember, um, I had planned something else for Sunday, and then I remembered that um, in my time hop, one of my photos came up of this beef and veggie pot pie. It's a cooking light recipe. This isn't linked to cooking light, but it links to the recipe. So it's like from 2006. So it's a pretty old recipe. I was happy to find it so I could link it for you. But um, it's really good. The only thing that it doesn't really fit the gut protocol is the breadstick dough, unless you can find some gluten-free breadstick dough. It's probably not, I, I haven't found any in the store, but you can make your own breadstick dough gluten-free if you want to, to follow four week gut protocol. So I've got my beef and veggie pot pie. And then I just started pulling from the cards. I picked the plant-based pasta with meat sauce. So if I really wanna follow gut protocol, if I'm gonna do beef here, then I could use turkey, ground turkey for um, the, um, pasta with the meat sauce here. And then I pulled the fixate chicken piccata. That's a fixate recipe you can find on Beach Body On Demand. I'll have it with some asparagus and some sweet potato fries. And then I pulled the shrimp with pesto and zoodles. So just zucchini noodles. Um, and I like to make it super easy and get the zucchini noodles um, already, already zoodled out for me from um, the grocery store. So. And then on Thursdays, we usually have leftovers. Friday and Saturday, we eat out. So that is my meal planning this week. And um, since I wasn't feeling too inspired, except for the one photo that popped up, um, I feel like the cards really helped me to add some variety. And there were some there were some cards that I kind of went through and was like, oh, I think the, um, oh, what is it that came up? The chicken, uh, the chicken a la king. I'm kind of, I feel like I've made that a couple times. I'm kind of over it, so I just went ahead and put it to the back. So um, so the next week I can um, pull some different cards and, and mix things up. But if you have questions about meal planning, let me know, and I'm happy to help.